And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 60 Weaver quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here at um, X12 Y10 in the pillars. And we need to talk to Avaril. So the quest is called Never Leave Without a Goodbye. Now the general story of Weaver is, is that Avaril wants to become a healer for her boyfriend, essentially. She wants to become a conjurer. And you've been help making her gear and stuff, but her mum really, really doesn't approve of like the whole situation. So let's see how the story ends, and let's see if she gets her wish. So um, she says, Avril's face has the grim resolution of one bound for war. So Freskin and I will be bound for the front line soon, and I am ready for it. Well, almost. Well, sorry, well, mostly. I have one last request for you, at least for the time being. Could you create me a garment to wear into battle? Mother doesn't know I'm leaving, and I'm not telling her. It's imperative that the clothing be sufficiently fashionable, lest she grow suspicious of my true plans. Could you speak with the townsfolk again? I would like to blend in with them, so as to make her think I'm off to on some social outing. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but you've seen how Mother gets, and I don't want her to worry. No matter what I say, she won't understand. I just can't be what she wants me to be. No, the less she knows of my plans, the better. Okay. So, as I said before, if you face a Mother's Wrath, you might actually die. But, whatever. That's her wish. So be it. We're only here to serve. So... And this is something we did before when we were trying to fashion her a nice hat, is we walked around the town, we asked the townsfolk what idea of fashion we could have in order to... Uh, okay, so let's talk to this person, well-dressed townsperson, to see what sort of dress we can make for her. So let's see what this person has to say. So, my outfit, I'm flattered you'd ask. This is my finest... Be sorry, Bliad. And I've paired it with my Cavalier's hat. It does seem to be what everyone is wearing these days. Okay. Of course, if Mifri was a dude asking her, Oh, hi, what are you wearing? It might sound really weird, but... Whatever, because Mifri's a girl, I guess she can get away with it. Okay, so where is the other... Person? Hmm. Noble woman... Aha, here we go. Well-dressed towns person. Okay, so... So, what to wear with a Cavalier's hat? Why, a doublet, of course. But it must match your cap, and you'll look as strange as a goblin with a gobu's head. Okay. So, let's now go back to Avaril, and then see what she decides for us to make. And... Yeah, and the reason, another reason I'm doing all these level 60 quests as well is to finish the stories, but also because it gives one of each of these rank 4 materials. So, by the end of all the level 60 quests, we will receive 24 rank 4 materials, and we already received 8 um, uh, rank 4 materials by doing the level 58 quests. So in total, they give you like 32 rank 4 materials for all of your melding towards 2 star. So anyway, here is Avaril. So the townsfolk are wearing... Uh, bliads and doublets. I'm quite fond of both styles. The doublet will do for me. It reminds me of an old one we got at home. I always thought it was quite pretty. Perhaps mother wore it back before she became so dull. <laughs> mean. Um, if I could use it, I would, but it's not meant for battle. Actually, could you speak with your guildmaster about that? As with my hat, the doublet will need to serve as armor too. Okay, so let's go to Redolent Rose in Uldar. I believe we can teleport to there for free, because it's my free teleport. If you want to have a free teleport, in case you're wondering how you have a free teleport in this game, you need to have enabled the one-time password feature in by the Mog Station by either having a one-time password device or using the app on your phone. Okay. Weaver Guild. So let's go. And obviously, always take advantage of the Aethernets to get around the town quicker. Because to run to, from to, um, the Aetherite to here 
would take you a good two or three minutes, whereas teleporting obviously is instant. So anyway, here is the guild master of the Weaver Guild, so let's see what he has to say. So, good heavens, off to war now, is she? I suppose that is Ishgard's way. It is a pity she means to further deceive her own mother, but I understand her request. She may not return from her battle. If you must go, go with style. Why, you could say the fabric of Ishgardian life is woven from loss. That is why their art has such beauty. Their lives are as glorious candles, burning twice as bright, but half as long. I dare say the gem will inspire me for some time, Mifri. Ah, but you were talking about fabrics. We discussed how magic wielders needed... Sorry, needs are best served by fibres that absorb aether, yes? Then, have you considered where the battle will be fought? Corphus is frigid and frostbite can kill just as easily as dragon fire. Only the warmest of fabrics will do. Chimerical felt. A chivalric doublet of healing made of this ought to suit Avril's needs. Okay. So, we have to make a chivalric doublet of healing. Now, what's interesting about this, it was exactly the same with the level worker quest, is that this is actually a level 60 one star item. But there is absolutely nothing in this that says it has to be high quality. You just have to be able to make it. So you have to make sure on your weaver that you have at least 589 control. And we have got 588 control. So we are literally one control short. How annoying is that? So anyway, let's go to the... Sand, sorry, to the market board and let's see if we can make it. We could always just use food to increase our control by one. That's for sure. So let's uh, let's do that now. Okay, and because we only have to make it normal quality, then I'm not worried about using control food rather than CP food. So let's do this. So we need one Aurum Regis nugget, one hallowed Rami cloth, three chimerical felts, one crawler silk, two grade one mind dissolvent, and two dawnborn aether sands. Okay, now the first thing I always do when it comes to making these items is I just check if there's any cheap ones on the market board. It's not likely, but you never know. You never know. Someone might have missold it. 400k? That obviously the answer is no. And, okay, so the first thing I tend to buy is the items I know I can't craft. So these Dawnborn Aether Sands, I can't craft them. I have no choice but to buy them. So let's take a look. Dawn. Aether Sand. I need two. So there we go. Ugh. So I have a choice of buying two for 16k each or buying eight for 6k each. I'll obviously buy the eight and then just sell the rest at an inflated price. and Make a profit. Okay. Next. We need Crawler Silk. Actually, no. First, let's make the Aurum Regis Nugget. So let's make that. Hopefully we'll have the materials for that. And again, this is why I was saying in so many of my videos that Omnicrafting still rules because I am able to make all of these mats without having to... Worry, let's say. So I need gold ore. Okay, so one gold ore. Let's see how many we can buy. Uh, one here, 900 gil. Okay, so let's make sure as well. We learned that lesson yesterday to use our baked onion soup. Let's synthesize. We're going to use our macro to craft this item. So let's see... Okay. Does this increase our control? This food doesn't, so we'll, we'll have to see what control we can make. So what control food we can have in order to get the extra one that we need. Okay. So that's that. And this part. And we learned um, doing the other episodes as well, which macros to press in the different situations, depending on our gear. But once all eight of the crafting quests are done, believe me, we're going to be really upgrading our gear to the two-star stats with all of the rank four materials we have. I'll be using a lot of rank four materials in my melds as well, given that they give you 32 of them for free. Okay, so that's the nugget. It isn't high quality, but whatever. So now we need two grade one mind dissolvent. So let's change to alchemist. Let's see what the mind dissolvents need. So we need uh, four blue cloud corals and eight deep eye tears. 
So let's see. Blue. I can't spell blue. Silly me. Okay, blue cloud corals. We need just four of them. Okay, so let's buy three and... Okay, that's four. Let's buy the deep eyes. Okay, deep eye tiers. We need eight. So three plus five is eight. Yes, I did pay attention in math class after all. So let's change... Oh, we're already... Okay, we're already there. But let's now make these two pots. We happen to already have the volcanic rock salts. And what item do we have? I am level, okay, 55. So we know which macro to use. Okay. So um, I am working as hard as I can to make sure I catch up because so many people have been asking me to get the two-star melds done. And it is nice that I can at least recommend using four-star materia and just say that if you've done all the level 60 quests, you'll be given so many for free that you don't have to worry about the cost. Because that's obviously a big thing when it comes to melding, is the cost. But if they give you 32 for free, then by all means, you should be using them. You don't have to sell them, you know, you just use them to make yourself as powerful as possible. And one other thing I'm going to be doing as well is that because I've had this level 60 gear for ages, this 150 gear, it is actually all 100% spirit bonded. So rather than removing the materia on this gear and then remelding it with the rank 4 stuff, I'm going to be converting these two materia and then melding the new ones with the rank 4 materials, just so I have like 12, well actually 11 chances to get even more rank 4 materials. So I might actually do some grade 4 forbidden melding, not many but I might actually do some. But uh, we will see and I will make sure that I keep my spreadsheet up to date as well of what materials I've melded, of how I've reached the caps. And it is this 150 set that I'm going to be max melding, just so I have one set of gear for all eight crafts rather than having to do eight individuals. The only thing I'm going to be spending red scripts on is tools. That's the only thing I'm going to be spending it on for the foreseeable future. So, and that's just my opinion of how to progress with crafting. You can follow it, you don't have to. It's completely up to you. It's just what I believe is the best way forward because... At the end of the day, they're going to increase the level to like free star crafting at some point, and they'll probably release new crafting gear with that. So, I, I will, I'm not going to stress too much about the uh, red scripts gear. And even if the red script gear is later required, then probably they will make getting the uh, red script gear a lot easier by then anyway. So anyway, we need crawler silk. I think I have all the mats except for the crawler cocoons. Let's see, crawl the cocoons. They're not too expensive, but let's just double check before I make them. So let's see, crawler silk. Yeah, I have the mats, so I need three crawler cocoons. The so one, two, and three. Okay, so let's switch now back to Weaver. We already have. Cool. So let's make this. We again have the 55 items, so let's use. make sure we use a proper macro. And like I said, it's good that it, there isn't too much, there isn't any requirement to make this high quality, so we really don't have to worry too much. As long as we make it, that's the main thing. Okay, so after the silk, we need to, let's see... What was it? Yeah, we needed to make some chimerical felts, and we needed to make... I can't remember what the other item is. We'll find out in a moment. And like I said, I will link all of these macros in the description of the video, in case you're curious about uh, which macros I use. And you can also use my crafting document as well, if you want to find out more. Okay, boom. High quality. So, next, let's go back and let's check the other materials that are needed. The chimerical doublet of... Sorry, chivalric doublet of healing. So we need one hallowed rami cloth and three chimerical felts. So let's see. Hallowed rami cloths. We need one hallowed water and one rami cloth. So let's make the hallowed water first, which is made with alchemist. Hallowed water, do we have all the mats? No. Do I have any 
Abilium, Abilafium Mistletoe? Well, I guess we'll find out. If not, I think, I believe you can buy them from a vendor. Yeah, I've got some right here. Cool. This is my spare materials retainer, which is obviously very, very full. Because I, I do craft a lot, obviously. I'm Mifri. So, okay, let's make this item. Okay, so, let's craft away. Hmm. So we already had one hallowed water, so this will be the second one that we need for the hallowed rammy cloth. I remember when the expansion first came out, how expensive these were. They were really ridiculously expensive to make, but now they're, you know, a couple thousand gilds, really not a big deal. Okay, so it's not necessarily a bad thing I've waited this long to do these quests, so that I'm not paying an arm and a leg for these materials. Okay, so, okay, almost there, and then we can make the Rami cloth. And Rami's tend to, at least on this server, Rami cloths tend to be really, really cheap to make as well, because we, ha we have a lot of gatherers on this server, so we tend to be really overstocked with gathering materials, like stalk or Rami and stuff like that. Okay, so Rami cloth, let's see. Um, Rami cloth, Rami cloth. Here we go, Rami cloth. So we have lots of Rami threads. We need one linen yarn. And we have flax, so we can make the linen yarn. So let's do that now. Where is it? Linen, linen. Here we go, linen yarn. Let's make one now. Make a normal quality. Cool. So back to here. Cloth. Rami cloth. Synthesize, go. And then after the Rami cloth, then we make the hallowed Rami cloth, and then we make the free chimerical felts, and we can make our doublet of healing. I will try and make it high quality. It's not required. It's just for my, the sake of my own ego to see if this, you know, if I can make it high quality or not. Because you know, I am, I'm Mifri Pie. No, I'm not. I'm just Mifri. So, okay. Let's not copy someone else's style, let's just keep our own style. We are Mifri, the bald, British-accented, you know, Makote cat lady. There we go, yep, I said it, that's my style. So, let's see. Okay, round with cloth, done. Boom. Let's make the hallowed one. Yeah, all high-quality materials, so it'll be easy to make. The synthesize. And I really can't wait until I'm like two star crafts and two star stats, just so if anyone asks me to make any item, I can again say, yeah, I can make it. I, I miss being able to say that to people. Because uh, even people have been asking me recently in the FC, can you make me this? Can you make me this? And for a while now, I've had to say, actually, no, I can't, which is very, very unusual given that. I am effectively the Mr. Crafting of this game. Okay, so we're almost there. And like I said, I do keep on all this footage in my episodes when it comes to crafting and stuff because this is the journey of crafting. I don't want to just say, like, okay, we're going to make it. We've made it. End of episode. You know, I think that would be really boring. It's like the crafting itself is really, really fun, at least for me. And I know for plenty of others as well. Okay, here are chimerical felts. We need three of them. So we're going to need three fleece, three natrons, and three chimera mains. So let's. Oh, sorry, 15 chimera mains. Okay, let's compare the price though. So we need just three. So the 8.5k each. The mains are that. So times five would be 7.5k. So I'm actually going to make buy them pre made because. I won't actually save money by making them myself. Okay, and then let's now just make the chest piece and we can be done with the quest. So let's see, body piece, chimerical, sorry, chivalric doublet of healing. We now have all the mats. I'm going to do this craft manually just for the sake of making sure it finishes. So synthesize, what's missing, what's missing, what is missing? 
synthesize. Hello. Oh yeah, that's right. We have insufficient control rating. So we are going to find control food. So let's see. Meals. Anything that increases our control even a little bit will do anything at all. I was wondering like about... Okay, here we go. Here's control food. So let's see. Pan fried mahi mahi. Let's buy one of them. Okay. So that will do. Use. In the ideal world, I would just have the stats needed and I would just use CP food, but whatever. Okay. So let's do this manually. So comfort zone. In a choir. Steady hand two. Hasty touch. Hasty touch. Hasty touch. We will hit precise touch if there's any goods or excellence along the way. Hasty touch and hasty touch. Okay, there wasn't any. Steady hand two. Hasty touch. Okay, kaboom. Master's Mend. Hasty Touch. And we're going to just finish the craft. Wow, it's an excellent. So um, with the excellent, I'm just going to hit Bygots immediately. 74%. That will do. Um, I, I can live with that. So let's hit now one piece by piece. Okay. And let's renew Steady Hand. And then another piece by piece. And then Ingenuity 2. We're going to hit standard synthesis until we're done. So stand... Ugh. We literally might not have enough. Damn it. Hang on. Let's do the mass. Let's do the mass. So standard synthesis gives us 200 progress. The two, oh, actually, it might. Be, it is enough. But it, it does look risky, doesn't it? So let's see. 200 will give us to 1,000. Yep. So it just, just makes it just. But it's like... I did have to check the mass to make sure that it didn't fall short. And there we go, high quality. So I won't complain that that was only 74% because my stats are really low. I had to use controlled food and I only have a level 55 item. So the fact they're high quality, a one star, I, I should be very proud of that. So anyway, actually, no, we need to go back to foundation rather than to the... Um, I thought we had to go back to the... Um, Weaver Guild, but we don't. But let's go back to Foundation now. And, of course, the shame of this is, is that if I sold it, I could probably sell it for like 500k. Whether anyone would buy it, I don't know. It'd probably be one of those items that sits on the market board for a very, very long time. But, whatever. The A for Rai, uh, which one would be closest? The Last Vigil, maybe, would be the closest? I can't remember. We can check, actually, which is the closest one. Actually, no, that's the... Yeah, that one is closer. Cool. So, as I said before, I only tried to high quality the turn-in just for the sake of my own ego. I didn't have to. It's not required for the turn-in at all, but we managed high quality anyway because I'm Mifri. You know, that's, that's what I do. Everything has to be high quality. So anyway, here is Avril. So my heart is all a flutter. I can't wait to see what you bring me or is it that i am anxious about the battles ahead uh well is it done so let's hand over high quality yes and in high quality yeah why not So, it's stunning why I'll be the bell of the battlefield. Thank you so much. Now, there's nothing holding me back. I do wish Mother... No, it is best she doesn't know. Reskin and I will go via the Ark of the Worthy. Please see us off there. It's bad luck to leave without a soul to say goodbye to. I mean, I'm not worried about the cost of this item because I will receive free rank 4 materials anyway. That will cover all the cost. Okay, so let's go back to the, the foundation. We can just use the Aethernet. We don't have to pay money for this. So let's just use the Aethernet. Go back to the Aetherite Plaza. Save ourselves 100 gil. The Aethernet Plaza. And of course, 
you know, I'm sure the mother is smarter than this, so she will be able to know what's going on. But let's just see how this Weaver quest for level 60 ends. So here's the destination. Okay, so destination, waiting. So thank you for coming, Mifri. When I return, I will be sure to tell you about all of our adventures. But if I don't make it back, tell mother that I was chasing my dreams, that I was happy. Well, well, my friend. So, Avril, where are you going dressed like that? Of course she's here. She's a mother. She knows best. So, uh, she is, that is to say, we are going to the front... Um, to the uh, feet, right, darling? That's why I'm wearing my finest, for the uh, feet. If he's like, oh my god, someone's gonna die. Is that so? Well, cancel your plans. The cathedral has need of more monastic robes, and right this very instant. Can't it wait, mother? I've been dreaming of this party for so long. And your party is more important than the gods' work. Your last robes were so well received. I think you'll need to make a hundred sets. You can do it, yes? You want the truth, mother? I am a Chirurgian. I'm leaving for the front lines tonight with my sweetheart. Please don't try and stop me. I couldn't bear sitting at home praying for my Freskin safety when I could see to it myself. It's bad luck, you know, to leave without letting me say goodbye. Your raiments gave you away, dear. I know a Chirurgian's doublet when I see it. I wore one myself. I just hoped you never would. I went to war too. Your father was so gallant and I was so in love with him. How could I not go? But I never told him I was with child. He died not knowing because I was slow when I needed to be fast. He died, he died because of me. And the guilt destroyed the woman I was. I gave up conjury to raise you. I tried to forget my mistakes through Halone. I never wanted you to know war. If keeping you from harm meant keeping you home, so be it. And then I saw you studying conjury with him. I panicked everything I could do to stop you. I tried and my actions only drove you further towards the battlefield. But the doublet suits you. Back when I was young and sincere and passionate, I'm sure it suited me too. I do, however, sorry, I do remember that desire to do good, to protect the ones I love. Go, Avril, go with my blessing, but keep him safe and promise me that you'll come back. I promise, Mother, on everything I hold dear. Thank you and thank you, Mifri. Okay, so that's complete. So obviously the mother didn't have anything to say to Mifri because Mifri lied to her face. So, whatever. So that's the Weaver story. So she managed to get her wish. Her and her boyfriend are off on the battlefield. The mother has gave her blessing. Everyone's happy for now. Um, we can just panic about whether or not uh, she survives or not the war. Uh, this guy is tired from walking from the, through the ice. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri.